board, then in a meeting like this, you have stuff going on in the background. You're kind of hungry. There's a lot going on, but there's a lot you can do to stop it. There's a lot you can do to stop all the noise, and that's with teams. Noise suppression. You don't believe me? Let's roll the footage. Everyone, we all been there before. A baby crying, dog barking, or eating a bag of chips at your desk. We don't want to be disruptive in a meeting. So Microsoft just launched a new feature called noise suppression. So let's take a look how to turn this on and activate it for your meetings. To turn on noise suppression, you will go to your profile photo inside of Teams and go to settings and then devices. And this is where you will see noise suppression. So you have four different options that you can choose from. There is off, low, high, and auto. With off, noise suppression is disabled. Using this setting for high fidelity microphones in low noise environments. So this is great if you are in a quiet room or anything like that. Then you also have low. With suppressed low levels of persistent background noise, such as a computer fan or an air conditioner, this is great if you're maybe in a work office environment and you have the AC above you. But this is also great for playing low music in the background where it won't be as disturbing. And then you have high. So if there's a lot of craziness going on, well, this will suppress all that background sound that isn't speech, which is really amazing. And if you choose auto, well, Teams will do its magic to find the best solution for you. But in most cases, choose the one that best fits your needs. Off, low, or high. Awesome. <laughs> now that you have that set up, let's dive in now to see what low suppression is. Let's take a look. Awesome. It's a little bit noisy and stuff like that, but let's take a look at high suppression. Let's see what that can do. Hey team, sorry. You caught me in the middle of vacuuming. Do you want to see it? Wow. Hey. wow, high suppression took all that noise away. But I hope everyone had a great time learning how to utilize the noise suppression in Microsoft Teams. If you have any comments or questions, throw those down below. I would love to hear what you think about noise suppression. Now, all you have to do is download Teams and get started. <laughs> so this is Arrow E. Thanks again for watching. Peace. Oh, and by the way, the audio that you heard of the baby crying was just that. Audio. Not apparent yet, but hopefully one day. All right.